If you're running a business on consumer grade networking gear, you're basically leaving your front door wide open with a please rob me sign. I'm Sean and after years of watching small businesses get hammered by cyber threats and network outages, I finally found something that bridges the gap between enterprise security and small businesses budget. HP SG2505P promises multi gigabit speeds and is set up so simple your intern could even do it. Let's go ahead and go through the unboxing. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we just got the paper in the front here. Oh, oh, okay, that's a quick start guide. Sweet, I'll probably use that later, but I'll just throw it to the side for right now. Oh, okay, so, so you can mount into the wall. Yeah, so this is, I guess, how you mount it to the wall. So if you ever want to put this on the wall, that's how you mount it. All right, let's go in with this bad boy thing. Ooh, oh, it's actually pretty light. It looks really heavy, but it's actually pretty light. All right, so the five and four port is actually WAN port, so you can actually plug two network connections into that thing, so in case one fails. Um, the rest are actually just gigabit ports, and there's also a USB on the uh, next to the port, which actually can unlock some pretty cool features with so uh, feature software updates. All right, let's go to me actually having this set up, and I'll show you around the app. All right, so this is what usually the home menu will look like. Um, pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. All right, so what I really like about uh, this app is like the active policy section. So if I go ahead and click plus. All right, so it says state of policy by intention. Now if I go ahead and let's do, um, I wanna block my, my employees from using Netflix. So if I, I'm gonna do block Netflix. Let's send it. All right, so the AI is gonna figure out what I mean and it's gonna find out Netflix's uh, thing right here. So it can see suggested policies, all networks from accessing Netflix, let's go ahead and create that policy. Now I'm actually creates it. Now, if I try to Netflix, if I try to go to Netflix, it is literally not going to load. So if I even go to like Microsoft.com, it's going to load perfectly fine. But Netflix, it says keep on loading and loading until it just says connection was reset. That's what I like about. I think that's my favorite part of the entire the application is the Chat GPT style uh, create policy thing. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the other stuff in the app. So it shows what is connected via LAN, which is um, this right here. I can go ahead and see my PC. Give it a second. There we go, right there. You can see the status of it. Let's see what the speeds are on this thing. So pick, I'm gonna click go. Oh, wow. So usually my, without the gateway, it only does like 100 megabytes of speed, but it looks like with the wire connection and plus the gateway, it's doing almost 400. Wow. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So you can actually see the kind of topic is taking up the most resources. Um, looks like web is obviously the number one. Uh, you can see productivity, you know, business and economy, which would, I think that would be Microsoft. I think I love that Microsoft on this. So that would be in that section. Utilities, kind of just the basic stuff. Um, if I go to threats blocked, ooh, interesting. I can actually see the threats that are coming to this gateway, which we all block, by the way. Let's say I'm an evil hacker and I decide, let me spam this guy's system. With their security settings, they're able to just block it just like that, no worries. So is the HPE SG2505P worth it? If you're serious about your business network, this thing is a no brainer, but here's what you get. True multi-gig performance, enterprise level security without the headaches and cloud management that actually works. There's an AI assistant that makes advanced features so simple, but there are a few trade-offs, like there's no Wi-Fi built in, but that actually better for flexibility. Some advanced features are still rolling out in updates and honestly, it might just be a little bit overkill. Compared to consumer routers, you're looking at 2x the speed capacity and rock solid professional grade reliability. Any features you'd normally see in a $2,000 enterprise gear. This isn't just good value, it's an investment in a network that's built to last. And if you're ready to upgrade, the links are below. Drop a comment of your current network setup and I'm curious on how many are still running your ISP provided routers. Till next time, keep your networks fast and your data secure.